you're a scammer, Mary. You scammed everyone who cared about us. But we need money, Brandon. They will never know the truth. They already know the truth. It's over. You screwed us with faking cancer. It's fine. We'll use the money on our house. I'll tell them I spent it on doctor's bills. And you think that's something he won't pick up on? So far, he knows every move of ours before we make it. When you think we're finally getting away with it, he's already two steps ahead. Every detail of every lie you've told, he's got it all mapped out, Mary. Well, okay, but maybe we could say that my English isn't very good? You're a liar, Mary. I can't stand by and watch this happen. I'm just going to relax on my phone and play video games. Right now, she is threatening all of her fans and just about everyone that follows her and sees these posts that she's made with suicide, making it seem like she's going to kill herself in order to silence people or lessen the backlash that she's receiving from fans, which is incredibly emotionally manipulative. Instead of taking accountability for lying about having colon cancer and trying to screw your audience that supports you out of money, she instead wants to just shut everyone up by placing herself in the victim position and trying to get sympathy from everyone. And she uses her kid, Midnight, as this prop and I really don't like it. I would love to know what you think about this in the comments. Just when you think the situation can't get any messier, right? Since I posted my last video, Mary and Brandon have put their Instagrams on private in an attempt to receive less backlash from people because there's so many people that are calling them out for scamming their audience and lying about cancer. Well, you posted that before in the past. When we're long distance, <laughs> Always posting stuff like that, telling me that you would go dance, be with Eugene, go model if I don't go to work because I'm sick or tired from fighting with you all night. <laughs> go home! This is my fucking home. I, I can't even leave. Then I will leave. I will leave. Do you sometimes call her a scammer? It's like she's only happy when she has money or. We're in a hole right now. I was proposing the idea that we could ask for some help. The behavior was, as long as she had money, she was great. But when the money wasn't around, she wasn't great. It was, we're le I'm leaving you, we're breaking up, I can't do this anymore, you're not my boyfriend, block, delete, for days. In America, every single time I got paid, I would send her most of my paycheck. I'm sorry, Midnight, I don't spend so much time with you, crying face. Mama is very sad and just want to give up her life. People in the world are so mean. Mama can't handle it, crying emojis. Wow, that's incredibly loaded. What a red flag to say something like this and involve your child in this. This has nothing to do with Midnight, Mom. This has to do with you lying about having colon cancer and trying to scam the very people that support you. This wouldn't be the first time that this girl has threatened everyone with death and try to make it seem like if she killed herself, it would be everyone else's fault. Like the blood would be on the fan's hands for trying to hold her accountable. People are so mean, mama can't handle it. Well then don't work on the internet, Mary. You and Brandon went on the show 90 Day Fiance. You applied and you got paid to be on the show. He got the money for being on the show because they don't pay the foreign cast members. We brought that up many times. However, I have no doubt in my mind that he shared the money with you and y'all seem to be doing well financially. You didn't need to fake colon cancer in order to screw people out of money. You chose to do that. So right now you're experiencing the consequences of the actions that you took. And just from this post, Clearly, you're not someone that should be on social media, working on social media, because you can't take accountability, and instead, you wanna make it seem like it's everyone else's fault for your current life circumstance. In our last video, White Knight Brandon was talking to the audience about how Mary pooped in a cup. She was wearing a mask, and it looked like she didn't wanna to talk to the audience because she feels like everyone hates her, which is pretty accurate because majority of people don't like her because she did this to herself. So Brandon has been the one lately on the TikTok that has been uploading videos of just him like vlogs but something really annoying they did is that they turned off comments and they made a lot of their pages private and it just seems like they don't want to talk about the situation they're trying to avoid it at all costs and not own up to the mistakes that they made which is a really cowardly tactic there's good news and there's bad news. The bad news is that Mary posted two more stories that we unfortunately have to cover in this video. The good news is that y'all look great. My daughter and my family needs me. Please stop crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. I'm the only one working here even though I'm not well. I'm trying to be strong, but people are very evil. Please stop, I'm begging you. 
stop what? You're the one that did this and you're evil because you're the one that lied about having cancer when you didn't have cancer. So don't try to turn this around on us and say that we're evil. We're not evil. We're just holding you accountable for something that you did publicly. Also, this whole narrative of I'm the only one working, as we covered in a previous video, that's not true because your grandpa also works and you told the entire world that's why he missed you and Brandon's wedding because he had to work. So we know that that's not true. And I wouldn't be surprised if Brandon works, but he's just not saying anything because he could teach English over there. Y'all can work on social media. He doesn't even have to show his face. There's so many different YouTube channels, Instagram channels, TikTok channels where people don't show their face on the internet and he could be doing something with gaming. There are so many options for this dude to work. I just think that y'all are really riding the narrative of we're poor, help us. And we can really see that by how you're constantly eating out. That takes money to do. You're making a new addition to your house and turning it into a compound. That takes a lot of money, right? You didn't set up a GoFundMe for that, but you were so quick to set up a GoFundMe for the cancer that you were lying about. Why is that, Mary? Be honest. Be honest with us and tell us why. You won't do that. You won't show the receipts. You won't give the people that you screwed out of money their money back. Why is that? If you were really sorry about the situation, you would do those two things. Mary's last post reads, I did not lie, crying emoji. I was just dumb. <laughs> no, you did lie because you said that you had colon cancer when you didn't. You can't just try to pass that off as you being dumb. It was very methodical how you did it because you went to see the doctor. The doctor said you could have a colon problem. He said a lot of other things. It was before they ran all the tests. And then you went home, watched TikTok, self-diagnosed, and set up a donation page. You know how much thought has to go into that? That was so premeditated and you picked the most loaded thing to get the maximum amount of money and sympathy from people. And then publicly you're saying that you're scared of death and you don't want to die. You want to be there for your daughter to trigger an emotional response from people so that you get more money and they donate to you. Mary goes on to say, when the doctor said I have colon issue, I thought that means I have colon cancer. And I panicked and searched for how much does it cost to remove the cancer. And that's why I started GoFundMe. Once again, Mary, you set up a go get funding page, not GoFundMe, completely different company, but you keep saying that. And I find that very interesting why you keep lying about that particular point, but I'm not surprised because you lie about a lot of things. I got anxiety and scared to death. People posted I bought phones is not true. That was a long time ago before this happened. I only use this old phone of mine and me and Brandon share it. I used to go fund me money for my hospital bills and that's the truth. I did not lie. I'm just dumb to know about colon issue, but I still need to go back to hospital next week for more laboratory for my colon to find out what's going on. Please stop, I'm so tired. I just want to die. Okay, Mary, so you're still riding this narrative of spending $1,300 within two days at the hospital for bills. That's very odd when you got diagnosed with the UTI and hemorrhoids and that's all you've been diagnosed with. They didn't do surgery, they didn't hold you overnight. So I don't believe you. And majority of people don't believe you. If you're from the Philippines, let me know what you think in the comments about this. I've already talked to a couple of our Filipino subscribers in the comment sections of the past videos that we posted, and they don't believe Mary either. It's exhausting watching you trying to use death as a scapegoat from taking responsibility when there are so many people that struggle with their mental health on a daily basis and don't talk about this shit publicly on Instagram and actually take their own life, it's incredibly sad. And all this situation really shows is your lack of empathy, your lack of awareness, your lack of a moral code, and the lengths that you will go to get money for people is astounding. Because I think of that Starface scene almost when he's like, hey, I never fucked anybody out of money that didn't have it coming, right? You fuck people out of money that are innocent that are looking out for you, that are supporting you, that when they thought you were in a bad mental spot and you were in a bad place and you had colon cancer, they showed up and tried to help you. And those are big donations, you know? You go to the grocery store these days and it's wildly expensive here in the United States. It's 
not like the money tree grows and we're all financially banking. Everyone is busting their ass here and working really hard to look out for them, their families. How dare you? Ironically enough, one of the fans that got scammed by Mary posted this on Reddit and said, um, anyone else get this BS email? Like, girl, what the fuck am I supposed to respond with? Mary said, hi, it's Mary. I raised a fundraiser about my colon cancer. I'm sorry if I posted it's colon cancer because I thought when the doctor said I have colon issue, I thought it means I have colon cancer. I'm just so dumb to know it. I'm so dumb and I'm sorry. But the doctors still want me to go back next week for more laboratory and I'm still having pain in my stomach. I'm sorry I made mistake. Please, if you want your money back, just ask for a refund. But I promise you, I did not use the money on anything. The people making posts saying I bought some things, but that's not true. They are using my old photos and posts to accuse me more. I'm really sorry. Crying emoji. My family and my child needs me. Please don't be mad at me or hate me. Crying emoji, crying emoji, crying emoji. And the funniest part about this message is that it says it's sent from an iPhone. <laughs> Okay, so once again, Mary's claiming that people are spreading misinformation. In our last video, we covered that she publicly said that she spent the money already on the hospital bills. So now once again, she's trying to backpedal. She's all of a sudden saying that she will give refunds to people. Obviously, this girl's very comfortable lying. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you think that she'll actually refund the people that she screwed out of money or not? If you have been screwed out of money by Mary and you donated to her page, let me know in the comments if you've received money from her. If you ask for a refund because everyone should get their money but i don't think she's actually going to follow up and give the money back what i'm gathering from the situation is that they're in full damage control mode right now trying to say whatever they can to get heat off their back the comments on this reddit thread are so funny you got someone posting a gift saying girl bye another fan wrote so now the story is that she thought she had cancer after the doctor told her she had colon issues earlier it was that she did research on tiktok and self-diagnosed girl can't keep her lies straight